Good day, Winant. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast Edition. Yes, it is your fellow compadre speaking. And of course, we're going to take a really quick look at uh, GameStop GME. We made a recent call that GameStop is likely going to exceed, or no, reach the all time highs and potentially exceed the all time highs in a short period of time. Um, it appears that has come to fruition. Um, and if you guys are just joining us, welcome in. Hit that subscribe button. Join us on our journey here, guys. Uh, we do make a lot of accurate calls, and we do get a lot of them wrong as well. So if you appreciate transparency, we'd love for you to join us here. Uh, wow, there's a lot of volatility coming in there. So go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, leave an appropriate thumb. Uh, this engagement truly promotes the channels and the, and the, uh, the, the videos, guys. The YouTube algorithm is picking up on the channel. Thanks to you guys, including our lower subscribers. Let's talk about GME, and let's go ahead and dive right into the chart here, shall All right, so today is January the 22nd, 2021, and the current price of GME is going to be $72 and the $73, and, and it's, it's fluctuating, guys. It's it's up about 64, 65% for the day. It's going all over the place, okay? All right, so just to be totally transparent with you all, guys, we're, we're out of the market right now. Uh, we, we actually took the play on, I think it was like $43. Whenever we posted the video, we actually entered the market, a very risky contract. And then uh, we sold it off today when it just when it broke above the all time high. And some say, well, dude, you you missed out on so much money. Look at how much money you left on the table, guys. I'm, I'm very conservative. You guys know I'm very conservative. I'm OK with the price going up to one hundred dollars from here. That's fine. I, I can see another opportunity. Excuse me. Um, if that were to take place. And of course, I'll, uh, I'll position myself in the market accordingly. That's fine. Uh, but I'm very happy with the the the, mon the amount that I made on that position. Very risky play. So, um, so for those of you who just truly don't understand what's going on right now, I want to explain to you that uh, remember I think someone says something about this is like the most shorted company or something like that. This all this up here, I'm pretty sure the, these short sellers, I mean they had an immense amount of profits in the markets, and I'm pretty sure a lot of them they didn't take profits. Okay, they were just simply sitting waiting on uh, GameStop to probably go down to like I don't know a dollar or a zero or something. And these are the pigs. They're getting slaughtered right now. That's basically all that's going on. Again, this was strategically planned back over here in 2013 and 2015. You guys can challenge that down in the comment section as much as you want. But again, I'm going to leave a link for you to show you, to prove to you that this price activity does not surprise me. How quickly it's happening, yes, it does surprise me. But as far as this happening, does not surprise me at all. Okay. Um, so I guess where do I see GameStop going? It's kind of hard to say. These are again, these are the monthly candles. I truly think that the real pain for the sellers in this area, like this area, has not entered the market just yet. I think a lot of them are still holding on to their positions. Like, yeah, guys, come on, this is GameStop. It's eventually going to go down. You know, it's just going to go down. This is just kind of a shakeout. I'm holding my puts, and I'm not selling until it comes back down. And and I think that is going to reflect in the price action soon. Um, I don't think we're there yet. Uh, this is not a video saying it's time to buy GameStop and ride it up to 100 bucks. although it could go to $100, right? Uh, but this is not a vin video insinuating that. Uh, again, these are the monthly candles. We still have about seven days to close on this monthly candle. Excuse me. As, as long as it closes above $60.44, oof, I don't see why it's going to stop here, guys. Honestly, this is a very aggressive move. Remember, these bumper run patterns, you don't stand in front of these bumper run patterns, guys. These bumper run patterns are very intentional. They are super aggressive. Uh, we did mention that on our previous video. We didn't say super aggressive, but we did say they're very aggressive patterns. They're very aggressive bullish patterns. This is going to be a slaughter fest, guys. Um, any bear who's been holding the position ever since 2007 is going to get slaughtered. And, and within the next... I, 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 I know that's kind of not an appropriate word to use, so I, I know I have some formal listeners... Um, the, the sellers in this market are going to really feel some pain in their portfolios. Okay. In a very short period of time. Okay. So we'll see it. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Um, and if I had to just kind of give, like, like I said, if it closes above $60 and 44 cents and it's like the, the sellers are having a hard time compromising this level over the next two weeks or so, I do think that this move We'll need to fetch some sort of consolidation, guys, before the next move to the upside. This is a pretty, 
pretty aggressive move. Um, I would like to re-enter the market. I've already sold off my risky contract. When we came out with the video, I don't know if I already explained this, but when we came out with the video, I made a very risky contract. $60 is where we uh, bought the contract. When it was at $40, uh, we have now exited our position. I think it was like a 10 or 11X, something like that. I have to check the account. Um, and basically, I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen over the next week or two. I mean, maybe I'll re-enter it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll start entertaining some positions, you know, some puts, long-term puts to the downside because, I mean, you know, maybe at some point it's going to come down, right? And it's not guaranteed, but I, I just truly wanted to stop and let you guys know, I guess, a, like a s extremely hypothetical, please do not enter the market based on what I'm going to say right now. Um, I'd say I, I wouldn't be a problem for, a, it wouldn't be a challenge for GameStop to get to $100 if we can get some sort of consolidation, but it has to consolidate, guys. I have to see, like, let's just call it at least two to three weeks of consolidating to know that this way can build up some more energy and just kind of blast off to the upside $200 uh, just to make those sellers feel some pain. Because again, if the price just consolidates above the all time highs, what's going on is that the sellers, they're like, yeah, it's come on. This GameStop is going to go down, man. It's, it's this company's worthless. It's going to go down. Okay. And I'm not saying it's worth it. I'm just kind of speaking in terms of the, the sellers, these sellers right here within this area that I'm telling you is going to be a slaughter fest, guys. Uh, they're probably not shaken out of the market yet. This is not enough to shake them out of their positions. Um, and I think as soon as GameStop, if GameStop goes up to $100, then it's likely that's when the real volatility is going to start um, after it breaks above, excuse me, $100. And, and again, you guys, the thing could collapse as soon as I'm in this video or, or post it rather right um, but we're out of the markets guys I'm, I'm not participating in all this volatility i'm done um I'll, I'll seize another opportunity when i when i see it presents itself and we'll just kind of take it from there but i did want to stop and let you guys know that this was another successful call that we made uh so congratulations to all of you who actually participated uh, not with us okay this isn't financial advice but you also just took into consideration the things that we said and you actually participated so congratulations to you there okay and that's all I got for you guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys actually participated in this. Um, I don't really, I'm not really interested in like how much you guys made. If you want to leave that information, that's fine. But just let me know that you actually listened, took into consideration the things that I, I said about GameStop and you actually played it. Um, and of course, didn't use it as financial advice. Just let me know that down in the comment section, guys. Um, I appreciate your time, guys. Thank you for stopping in here with me. It is Napoleon Macro. I'm going to go ahead and cut out here. That's the real pronunciation of my name, Napoleon. But let's just say Napoleon is easier. Uh, take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. We're going to talk very soon, guys. And bye for now.